I'm just giving you a little alone time in the house. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now, Clawfoot is a 2024 comedy thriller that tells the story of a suspicious handyman and his trusty assistant who arrive at this married woman's home seeking to install a bathtub. What are you doing? Well, we have to store the tub somewhere overnight until we bring it upstairs tomorrow. Now, without her husband home, the handyman's true motives reveal themselves as the story continues. I think the thing you, Janet. I'm a doer. I'm a scorpion. I'm a doer. Bullshit, right? So... Why should you watch this movie? Reason number one, the wife. Janet Lowther. Oh, hey, Miss Lopper. Morning, sleepyhead. An uber rich housewife who is married to her lawyer husband, Evan. You fucked up. You, you fucked up. I fucked up? You now, while at home by herself, she receives a ring at the door. And it's the handyman who's there to install a new clawfoot bathtub. We're not doing any construction. Well, that's strange. I have an order here for 435 Westmont. It says bathroom renovation. But Jenny didn't put in an order for a new bathtub. And being a person who possessed the ability to remodel homes, she already has her dream bathtub, which is more modern than the regular old clawfoot. Let's see why you wanted a clawfoot. I designed the tub area all by myself. So, right off the bat, this guy seems pretty suspicious. Oh, uh, we're, we're doing this through the window? But he managed to present it as a birthday present from her husband, which is next month, as a means to get in her home. So, she opens the door, and things get pretty interesting. There she is. Reason number two, the handyman. Oh, this here's my handyman. A handyman's handyman, if you will. I call him in when the job's just too big for one man. Now, the handyman consists of Leo and Sammy. Whoa, you got a nice BMI, body mass index. I'm all about nutrition, you see. Now, Leo is this charming, attractive, and charismatic handyman who is not only a handyman, but is also a great chef who knows his way around the kitchen. It's a tomato sauce. What planet are you on? You're supposed to use a third cup of tomato paste. I mean, your acids are going to be all messed up. You got to just throw the meat in right now. Now, Leo also knows how to play the violin. And alongside Leo is his trusted assistant, Sammy, who is a handyman to the handyman. You said you'd be here at 10. 10? I'd never say 10. He'd never say 10. Now, Sammy, like Leo, seems to be an expert in dieting and nutrition. Sammy seems to know a lot about a lot of things. And to be honest, Leo and Sammy seem to know more about everything, more so than they know about actually doing the job that they came to do. Now, how do I know this? Leo and Sammy are the nosiest and most intrusive handymen ever to exist. They spend more time in other parts of her house rather than spending the most of the time installing the claw foot. You know, Sammy has a crush on Janet, but let's be honest, can you blame him? My best friend. Reason number three, the best friend. A bathroom remodel? Evan never mentioned it. Now, if this seems like I'm all over the place here, that's because this movie introduces you to such a chaotic world before delving into the matter at hand. And none more chaotic than Janet's lawyer best friend, Tasha. Do you know how easy it is to forge a signature? It's literally a few squiggles and a dot. Thanks for reassuring me. Natasha is a criminal lawyer, in which to paraphrase Tasha's own words, it's just a criminal who knows the law. When I was back at the firm, I had a lovely client whose mother-in-law died a sudden and excruciating death. Mm. My client was wrongfully accused in the matter, but ultimately I was able to prove that the mother-in-law stabbed herself in the heart. Now why do I say this? All of her clients seem to be people who did the crimes, and by crimes, I mean murder. When you start taking clients again, you gotta start taking their calls. To be honest with you, I think this one might have done it, but maybe his wife bludgeoned herself to death. However, Tasha specialized in getting truly guilty people off murder raps. So yeah, she's good at her job. But why do you need to know any of this? Evan. The fuck? Reason number four, Evan. 
<laughs> oh my God, thank you. We can't get, get, get me out of here, man. Now, Evan, like Tasha, is also a criminal lawyer. Now, based on the conversations between Tasha and Janet, Evan is also a shark of a lawyer who is also good at getting guilty people off murder raps. But this is where things seems to get interesting because Evan has seemingly left Janet. And not only has he left Janet, but he also appeared to have been ran off with a younger, prettier version of Janet. Uh, maybe he had a mistress. Maybe she's younger than you. Prettier. Not that you're not pretty. But your husband, he's a big businessman. Now, why do I say it like that? Because Tasha specifically states that Evan left his first wife for Janet. And as the saying goes, if they will do it for you, they will also do it to you. And in case you're wondering, why are those guys still at the Lothar's house and why won't they leave? Oh yeah, about that. Get the sledgehammer. We're taking this shit down. Reason number five, the dilemma. He gave me a couple stacks. All I had to do was give him a couple dummy invoices, claiming he had paid a lot more for it. But even after the renovation, I still come out ahead. It's a reason Evan hasn't been seen or heard from. It's a reason that the handymen are there. I do. Out of my house. The razors, they slice like butter. As a matter of fact, it's a reason everything you heard about up until now is important. You are acting very strange. So let's do a run now. When you're a lawyer with a past as sketchy as Evan, you have to do things to win cases. And many times you have to commit crimes. So for Evan, if you're looking to get away from this sort of firm, you want to take money without being caught. So that's where Leo comes in. Evan needs to steal money from his company, but he also needs invoices to make the money he has stolen look clean. Either way, it seems like there's a lot of cash out there or, or in here that needs to be cleaned. So Leo is in the picture to create invoices for Evan, but by doing so, Leo gets a cut of whatever Evan steals from his firm. Now, that sounds like a foolproof plan, but no. Evan has this young thing at work, you know, the prettier, younger version of Janet. He's looking to get a divorce from Janet and have some money left over for he and his new girl. So he takes off with this woman, right? You know, you're wondering, what's in it for me? What do I get? So you get a big fat nothing, that's what you fucking get. So Janet gets much of nothing because, you know, Evan knows his way around divorce proceedings. But this is where Evan's plan falters. What I'm about to show you isn't pretty, but it was necessary. Janet finds out Evan's scheme and has him knocked out and ties him up in the basement. And if you're falling along here, don't worry, I got you. She fucking comes up behind me and I fucking I wake up here like this, man. I fucking wake up here like this. Leo knows Evan's plan and believes that Evan is either dead or possibly have abandoned him. But he knows that someone like Evan has money stashed away at home. So there's really no remodeling job. He's just there to tear the house apart, looking for as much money as possible. But he doesn't really want to hurt Janet, unless he has to. Fucking problem, huh? Why don't you just tell me where the fuck the money is, huh? I'm fucking tired. As for Sammy, he's just a not Jonah Hill lookalike who has a major crush on Janet. But it sucks to be not Jonah Hill because Janet has a main street. How mean? Janet fantasizes about murder, torture, and killing people. Music. I guess that's just what rich housewives dream about. However, Tasha, the criminal lawyer who is as much a criminal as she is a lawyer, Janet tells Tasha her problem, and the two turn the table on Leo by knocking him out and tying him up alongside Evan in the basement. But then, not Jonah Hill, who is crushing hard on Janet, finds out what's going on, and they have to make him into 101 bits of not Jonah Hills. Because as soon as we saw through his aorta, there's going to be a ton of of blood. Shit. Huh? As for Evan and Leo, well, I guess you really got to see how this movie ends. Janet, I'm putting on music. Any requests? Now, in the end, Clawfoot is a clever little movie. I think it's funny, sexy, charming, and thrilling. It presents this fantastical world of deceit and murder and bathes the story in it. I have to show you something. Now, none of these characters are grounded in reality, but it uses some simple plots to be entertaining. Have you ever done this before? No, but I have no less than 10 clients who have done it. 
Now, I am someone who loves home invasion movies. And personally, I would have loved to have the movie lean more into the sinister side of the home invasion a bit more. Where's the money, Janet? Ah! Come on. Ah! Now, this movie wasn't a personal favorite, but I did enjoy it, and it's worth a one-time watch. Now, if you're someone who likes comedic takes on the subgenre, then you'll definitely enjoy this movie. All right, so you have no family, friends, girlfriend, anyone? Oh, uh, no, not really. You know someone? And until next time, when said talks horror. Janet, come on, Janet, let me in. Now, if you want to wear merch from your favorite horror movies, then I've got just the thing for you. Just click on the link in the descriptions and in the pinned comments that says horror movie shirts. Our store has the best designs, and we'll see you there. Now, this video is sponsored by my Patreon supporters. Thank you for your support and God bless. The Rewind is our exclusive membership section. And by joining the Rewind, you'll receive exclusive content not found anywhere else. You'll receive early releases, video shout outs, behind the scenes footage and photos, unreleased and unedited kill scenes that we can't show you on YouTube, plus special commentary from yours truly, Said Talks. So join the Rewind today by clicking the link in the descriptions and in the pinned comments.